Hey guys, so for these next three videos that I'm going to upload, I decided to do a layering series. I get asked a bunch of the time, you know, how did my makeup last longer? How did I get my bronzer to look this way? Or how did I get this perfect red lip? Or how did I get my eyeshadow to stay put? I get that all the time, both when I'm at work and when I'm just hanging out with my friends, doing makeup for fun. And I thought that it would be a great series to have just on how to layer your makeup and what it means to have layers of makeup on. Um, essentially, you know, knowing the differences in textures and then knowing how those textures work together and how to use that knowledge to create a look that is long lasting, beautiful, and overall just makes you feel good about yourself. Um, for this look, I did a kind of Mila Kunis inspired plummy brown smoky eye just because the plummy brown tones make my brown eyes stand out. The cat eye, just flattering for my eye shape. This is my go-to look when I'm going to go out to a club, to a party. I almost always wear this eye look. Um, then I did my face and I just did pretty much a flawless, almost photography makeup face look. I used some powders, creams, liquids. I layered on the foundation today. And lastly, I did a layering tutorial on how to get this red lip with different eyeshadows, lipsticks, liners, glosses, just different techniques for both, both for your eyes, your face, and your lips on layering, getting the perfect look, and having your makeup stay on for a very long period of time using I wouldn't say minimal products, but using as little products as necessary to get the look to work. Um, so yeah, um, I'm starting the series with the eye video, and then it goes to the face video, and then it goes to the lip video, just because that's the order that I normally do my makeup when I'm going to do a more dramatic eye look. And in the description box, I'm going to have all the links for all those videos listed, as well as my usual links and the usual like product information and stuff like that in the description box. But here's your intro for this three-part series, and I really hope you guys enjoy it. So stay tuned, and we'll get right into it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to set a base for our lids. Since this is a tutorial on layering makeup, I'm going to show you how to layer different primers, different shadows, to give you a really full, defined look, I guess. Um, this would be the finished product, but I'm going to go ahead and get started on this eye. The first base that I'm using is just the original Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I have it on a palette, so I'm not going to show it on camera, but you know, I'll have it listed in the description box. I'm just going to apply this base all over our eyelids. In the inner corner, up to our brow bone, everywhere that we're going to apply shadow regardless of color or whatever we're applying this all over as a base for our entire lid the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to take Too faced shadow insurance's candle light which is just a more champagne colored highlighter and i'm going to apply this in the inner third of my eye and granted this is a very bright concentrated um base it would be a great highlighter for like the skin especially with my skin tone this thing rocks but um, we're just kind of applying this right here it's okay if it gets a little spread out and crazy it looks fine in the end don't worry about it um, and the last base we're gonna use is one of Sephora's I do which is just their cream eyeshadows and it's in a kind of um, purpley like a purpley gray color I would say and this is gonna go on the outer two-thirds of our lid and we're gonna work it up into our crease also don't be too crazy about you know the placement and the shape just make sure that it's going on smoothly and that you're able to blend it out I like to apply the bases with a brush and then blend them out with my fingers it just in my opinion gives me a better result and already this by itself with a little bit of eyeliner it would be a great little look to go out but this is just the base we're gonna do some more with this the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a pencil brush and max heritage rouge pigment and I'm gonna apply this on the outer corner of my eye 
like so. Just penciling it in right here, working it up, and then doing a shape this way. I'm kind of solidifying the shape that I did with the base with this eyeshadow. Now please do not confuse this with a cut crease. I am not cutting my crease at all. All I am doing is defining a shape for my eyes. And the next thing I'm going to do is take Max, what color is this? Uh, smudged Violet Eyeshadow. And I'm going to apply this on the outer two thirds of my lid. But I'm going to go up to that Heritage Rouge with my brush and try to bring it down and blend it in with the smudged violet. And as you can see, that smudged violet color is just literally the same color as the eye do. It's just a shimmery purple. <laughs> okay, so once we have that on, we're going to go ahead and take a Sonia Kashuk uh, blending brush. It's just one of their dome brushes. And I'm going to dip it into the Naked palette in the color Naked. And I'm just going to blend out the Heritage Rouge pigment. Make it a little bit more subtle because I don't want like a super dramatic cut on my crease or in my eye look in general. I just want this to be a kind of Mila Kunis inspired smoky eye if you can gather that from the finished eye look. And we're just blending it out. No biggie. And it already looks much more subtle. And that's great. <laughs> Now the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to amp the subtlety up a little bit with um, Hustle from the Naked Palette. And we're just going to put this right here on our outer corner in our crease because this is our defining color. This is the color that's going to make things look dramatic gonna give it that night out look and mind you all we're doing is layering different shades darks lights middle tones we're adding a gradient to the eye by layering our products and I'm gonna use the same brush that we use with naked just to barely blend out that darker color barely we want to keep the darkness on the outside now, the last thing I'm doing as far as eyeshadows are concerned is dipping just a smaller, kind of, it's a really small eyeshadow brush is what it is, into the Naked Palette's Virgin. And I'm going to apply this literally like all over the first third of my eye. And it's going to be pretty stark. But I have a little trick to make it all better. You use the same blending brush that you use for all of your other dark colors, and then you just blend in on the edges. That's how you're going to achieve a seamless look while not getting rid of any of the highlight. Like, you want to keep that nice, bright highlight in the center of your face. And like so, you blend it out and it's seamless without you losing the color payoff. Now the next thing I'm using is my MAC um, Black Track Fluid Line Eyeliner. I'm just going to do a little wing. I'm just going to dip this into my eyeliner. And I'm going to just draw it on. I'm really sloppy when I do my eyeliner just because I know that I can fix it at the end, so. I don't really get too crazy with it. Like you see that little fuck up right there, I just fix it later. And I'm just gonna dip it in to get my wing going. And then I just 
disconnect it. Just need some more juice. Sorry I'm not explaining much guys, I just can't really talk when I'm trying to do like a perfect winged line. I need a little concentration time. <laughs> and what I always do, again for any of the little mistakes, and I wasn't able to do this actually on the other eye, I wanted to wait to do it on camera. <clears throat> I'll grab an eyeliner brush, preferably an angled brush like this one. And I'll dip it into a dark color. I'm gonna use a black from a palette that I don't have out. <laughs> Everything else is on my table already. This I didn't prepare to use. I'm just gonna use a black, I'm not really a black, I'm like a really dark purple from um, a Tarte palette. And I'm just going to powder along the edges to not only soften the line but it's gonna fix any mistakes that I made it's gonna make them practically invisible <laughs> like you're not even gonna notice that anything is wrong anymore just because the shadow by softening up that line is setting the eyeliner as well as correcting any mistakes. And I also like my liner to not be so stark and defined. At least not in a look like this one. I like this one to be a little bit softer, a little bit sexier. And that's just what I like to go for. I feel like my eyeliner is a little uneven right over here. So I'm going to add a little bit more. And you, the secret with makeup is just seeing what works. You know, like I look at myself. I see that it's a little uneven. I go in and I fix it. And I make it look better. At the end of the day, you want to be really pleased with your look. And if you're not, then you're not doing your job right. You need to be happy with what you look like. All right, awesome. And those are our eyes, essentially complete. Now I'm going to go back in with Virgin again. And I'm gonna highlight my brow bone. You could have applied the candlelight base to your brow bone also. I normally don't though, just because it's just a highlight shade and normally with just a plain base, it goes on just fine. I'm not really worrying about it. And we're going to do the same right here. Great, keeping that look highlighted. For looks like these, I like to keep my bottom lash line, you know, pretty light and open. Now you totally could apply some of the Heritage Rouge or some of the Smudged Violet down on your lower lash line, put on some eyeliner, and it'll look beautiful. That's just not my style. For this look, I would honestly leave it like this. I would even venture as far as to grab... What can I use for this? Oh, I have it right here. I would even grab, um, um, what is this called? Benefits Eye Bright, and I would just line inside my eye on my lower lash line. It's gonna make our eyes look even brighter. Gonna add some light 
brighten it up. And I do have quite a bit of fallout from my eyeshadow, which is why I left my face undone because I knew that this would happen. <laughs> it's just it's part of the trade. And I am going to clean up all of this fallout. Will I get too crazy? Because I don't want to take out any of the eyeshadow that I actually want to be there. I just want to clean up a little bit. Look at all that I got on my wipe. Just fall out. And that way it just looks better because it's cleaned up. It's not like crazy. <laughs> And fallout goes everywhere, so don't be afraid to clean up like most of your face. Just try to avoid, you know, touching areas where you do have um, eyeshadow that you don't want to get rid of. And that would be essentially the eye look. You would normally add some mascara to pump up the lashes, which I'm going to do right now so you can see the finished look. But. I only have waterproof and I hate when I do looks on days where I'm not going anywhere just because I have to take off my makeup at some point. Oh! I hurt myself. Don't be discouraged. Like, lash curlers really don't hurt. I was just trying to look at an opposite direction while curling my lashes and obviously that didn't work. <laughs> I think I burned off lashes on my left eye because I was putting on mascara the other day and they're just really short and gross they don't feel like my lashes on my right side so it's just like what I like to apply mascara on my lower lashes first a because this is where you're gonna see most of the drama on down here because the ones up top, you don't really see much because of the eyeliner. And then on top of that, by doing the bottom lashes first, I'm not going to have any transference of mascara to my lid. And I just re-dip my brush and apply some mascara to the top. I'm not putting on my usual like four coats just because again this is just a tutorial I'm not going anywhere so I don't have to destroy myself to remove my makeup okay and that is the finished eye look when it comes to layering your makeup um, just remember layering bases then layering shadows you want to make sure that you're locking in the color you're making sure that all the pigment that you want to come out is out by using these colored bases and on top of that you're making sure that your look is going to last you all night this will not come off for probably 24 hours if i let it because of the fact that i've done a really good job of setting a good base setting it with powders everything on my face is set with powders my eyeliner is my bases are everything is blended out so it doesn't look super harsh it doesn't look like I, I could wear this to work i could wear this to school i probably wouldn't myself because i'm not a big makeup wearer shock and awe but every day on daily basis i don't wear a lot of makeup but when i do go out this is the look that i tend to gravitate towards it's very bright but it's still really sultry it's really sexy it brings out my eyes and it's just really flattering and it's really easy to do. You can use this technique with a number of eyeshadow looks. It doesn't have to be a smoky eye. It doesn't have to be a neutral eye. It can be anything. And you'll see in my future tutorials that I do tend to layer my makeup a lot. Um, but as far as the eyes are concerned, this is it. Um, this is my go-to look when I'm going out. And this is a great example of an eye look that uses a lot of layering, a lot of bases, a lot of colors to create a really nice ethereal effect. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Have a great day, guys. <laughs>